and I have to have this bag. Like, there's like wanting a bag, and like, oh, I need a new bag. No, I, I have to have this bag. Hello everyone, so today we're just going to do a quick get ready with me changing bags chat video. We're gonna go from the Louis Vuitton Palace into my newest peekaboo, and we're gonna dive into some topics, so stick around. Hello everyone and welcome. If you're new to my channel, my name is Caleb and on here you're gonna find a lot of things like luxury shopping, reveals, reviews, unboxings, luxury travel, daily vlogs, pretty much anything that has to do with life and style, you're gonna find right here. So before we go any further, you know the drill. Hit the subscribe button, thumbs up, say hi in the comments, find me on Instagram, caleb.snell.designer. Today, we're just going to do an easy breezy, chit chatty, get ready with me for the week type video. It's Sunday night. I just had my Lean Cuisine and my Diet Coke. I'm gonna film this real quick and then run down to the gym so that way I can kind of get ready for tomorrow. It's not gonna be an extravagant video, sorry, but we're gonna dive into some topics. So I have an update on the Bulgari bag that we've been manifesting. We manifested, but didn't quite work. Just an easy breezy topic video, I guess. I don't know. I don't really have a plan. We're just gonna roll with it. Ramble, if you will. I'm good at that. So the past few days, I've been carrying my Louis Vuitton Palace beauty bag, clutch, whatever. Bought it in Munich. The story's there. Find it on literally any video that I talk about this, because I think I share that story a lot. It's a good story if you don't already know. Love this bag. This is one of my forever pieces, never leaving my collection. What's in it, you ask? Sunglasses. We have my Prada six key, is it? Yeah, six key, which literally holds my fob for the building and my mail key. I have a real set of keys though over there. Gum, which I'm nearly out of, and I just put in an order for Amazon Fresh today and I didn't think to put gum on it. That's not annoying, love that for me. We have my Bose headphones in here, which totally fell apart this week. I've been using them a lot more lately. And the power button fell off. Love that for me, so now you have to like dig your finger down and it's a whole thing. One of these days I will buy myself new headphones. Is it a priority? Probably not. Will I continue complaining about it this time next year? Absolutely, you bet. This is what I do. And what else do we have in here? The Louis Vuitton Bratza wallet. Love this thing. This is like literally, I've said it time and time again, but like this is my favorite style of wallet. I just love being able to like open it up and then see all my cards. Easiest thing in the world. Slight amount, swipe, buy whatever you need to. Done and done. Last but not least, the Posh Toilet 15. Let's do a little mini review. So in here I have my Shiseido Urban Environment Oil-Free UV Protector Broad Spectrum SPF 42 for face. I love this stuff. This I use if I'm out like walking about because we've got to stay youthful. You only get one face, right? And this stuff is amazing. It's SPF 42. It's water resistant up to 40 minutes. It's fabulous. And I think I'll link it down below for you guys, but I'm pretty sure Shiseido is probably having a sale right now. So jump on that. We have Shiseido blotting papers. Love those. Not one, but two tubes of Chanel chapstick. I'm gonna get rid of this one because it has been empty for a minute, uh, but this one's good. All right, what else? We have our, well, not yours, mine, vaccination card and a glasses cloth, which I desperately need because I can never find one. So I finally had the sense to put one in my bag. Thank you, Zane, good idea. So now when I'm at work, I don't have to like dig around for like a Kleenex or I don't know, like a paper towel or my shirt. I can use a legitimate glasses cloth. It's life-changing when you're prepared, I, I tell you. So if you're not prepared, and if you wear glasses like me, which I'm sure a lot of you do, put a glasses cloth in your bag, you won't regret it. Topics today, we're gonna cover some bulgari. But first, I'm in a show hole. Yes, I said it. I'm kind of weird. If I really like something, I will literally put off finishing it, like especially if it's like the final season or the last video game. Case in point, Uncharted, the last one with Nathan Drake. I'm a huge Uncharted fan, if you haven't already picked up on that. I think I mentioned it a few times. Huge Uncharted fan, and when the final game came out, I literally put off playing it for five years, just because I didn't want it to end. And the same thing I did, I did it with Shameless, too. Love that show. Absolute top-notch favorite show probably on television, at least top three. Ask me on any given day, but always top three. I've been putting it off for about a year now, and I finally watched the series finale. What was it? Season 11? Not enough seasons, though, by the way. I cried. Not ugly crying to like the point where in the first couple of episodes of And Just Like That, I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but those of you who watched know what I'm talking about. Ugly cried. Zane had to pause the TV for 30 minutes because I ugly sobbed on the sofa. That's not, that's not pathetic. Also, not quite as much as the series finale for This Is Us. 
Love that show. Literally cried every single episode. My favorite one, I think, was Randall's story arc when he went down to meet his mother. That storyline, loved it. Beautiful. The last episode, though, Ugly Cried. And Zane, he, he might deny it up here. He did tear up a little bit, too. And he, he's not a crier. It was a beautifully done episode. Anyway, so I cried at the end of Shameless. And I'm in a show hole, and I'm missing Mickey. Noel Fisher is like my Man Crush Monday every day, not gonna lie. And I mean, you've seen my sweatshirt time and time again. I love my Mickey Milkovich sweatshirt. And yeah, I'm just missing the series. I think they could have done another like four or five seasons, but that's just me, that's just me. So we've moved out of this. I'll stuff it, put it back in my closet here in a little bit. And we're going to move into my most glamorous and newest peekaboo. That's right, the beaded one. If you haven't watched my unboxing on this video, do yourself a favor. Once this is done, I'm gonna have it linked down below. Head over there, check it out. Literally the best Fendi peekaboo in my collection. I have three, which is not nearly enough. I need some mediums and some minis. And I haven't carried it yet. Can you guys believe that I, Caleb Snell, bought this gorgeous bag and haven't carried it yet? You probably can't, because I think I've done that with like six or seven bags anyway. Here we are. I'm finally switching into my Fendi peekaboo. Anyway, guys, this bag is absolutely stunning. It weighs a F ton. I said what I said, don't cancel me. But I love this bag, it's so gorgeous. Um, it's Cellier, or Celleria. I guess it's not Hermes. Fendi Celeria. So this is it done in the Romano calfskin, hand stitched, absolutely stunning. You have the sterling silver placket here on the back. And I was able to get it in really good condition. Fashion File priced this one really low. I would have paid like six or 700 more for this, just so you all know, because it is gorgeous. So how are we gonna fill this up? So with the peekaboo, because I like to leave the front open, I put like the least important things here in the front. So we have our sunglasses, which, not Chanel, these are, the, the cases for these glasses, I wear my Versace aviators, which I love. I think I've had these for, gosh, coming on 10 years now. Love them. Yes, I wear glasses, so I don't really get to wear them a whole lot. Now that I've sold my car and don't drive as much, I do wear them a little bit more. So anyway, so I put these here in the front and I also put this here in the front because I mean, if anyone's gonna reach into my bag, like this is the stuff I want them to steal, I guess. Well, I mean, if you see me in public and I have a peekaboo, don't just reach in and steal because I don't want you to, but I think I'd be more upset if you got my wallet. This video is chaotic so far. Are you living for it? Is it a vibe? I don't know, but at least we have my new microphone on so you can hear my rambling a little bit clear. So here in the back, I just have my gum. Well, let's do my wallet first. Wallet, we'll go in, off to one side. We'll stick my gum on the same side. Headphones and key holder on the other side. I have this massive empty bag. I really need to buy medium peekaboos instead of larges. I don't know what I'm thinking. There is the world's most gorgeous, in my opinion, I'm biased of course, Fendi peekaboo. I promised at the beginning of this video to dive into the Bulgari drama. I've had a lot of drama this past week with bags. One of them I can't tell you about because it's part of the Chanel. Is he buying a Chanel? Is he buying an Hermes journey? So eventually I will go into detail on that, that story. So don't let me forget. You guys are pretty good at that, not letting me forget things. But you guys, I manifested the Bulgari bag. The beautiful Bulgari X Casablanca mosaic top handle. It worked and it didn't. So let me tell you. So this story goes downhill real quick. So I called the client services line. I'm like, hey, I just wanna check the availability on an item. Here's the reference number. Spoke to a very, very kind lady on the phone. She was wonderful, very professional. She said, there's a list of about four stores here in the US that might have one. Keep in mind, they could be spoken for, you know, this was a pre-order bag, so maybe they're in for other clients to purchase, so don't get your hopes up too high, but I will reach out to them as well, give them your information, and I'll also email over the boutique list with their phone number, so that way you can contact them if you wish. I said, oh my gosh, that's amazing, thank you. So five minutes go by, I get the email. I don't skip a beat. I immediately start calling. So the four stores that she sent me were the Fifth Avenue, I always wanna say Saks Fifth Avenue, but the Fifth Avenue New York Boutique, Washington DC, Miami, and I think San Francisco. So I start at the top, I work my way down. I'm just like going or like counterclockwise. I guess, no, it's clockwise, depending on how you look at it. Clockwise throughout the continental United States. And I call Fifth Avenue first and they say, oh my gosh, you know, we do have one. However, it's being held for a client. That's fine, I was expecting that, great. Next one down the list, Washington DC. Very, very friendly client services. Um, they let me know that they didn't have the bag in stock. They did, but it was already spoken for pre-order. And then they told me like only 500 of these were made, all pre-order. Do I believe that necessarily because the Apre Tennis Casablanca bags on Bulgari's site have been up and readily available now for like a month or two. Like I'm just waiting for the mosaics to hit the website, I guess. Then I call Miami and they're like, oh yes, we have one, um, but it's spoken for. Call San Francisco and 
don't cancel me, Bulgari, but it was like the least professional interaction I've ever had. Uh, they just like put the phone down, had a personal conversation between themselves, came back on the line and were like, oh no, we don't actually have one. And then kind of like, explained again like i'm like you know oh you know this is pre-ordered yada yada i'm like okay great thank you so much so i'm like okay you know nothing's gonna happen you know nothing's gonna come from this and then i get a phone call from miami i'm like oh my gosh so this happened when i bought the coach uh eagle tote the eagle nyc tote i called all the boutiques in new york one called me back like five minutes after and they're like, oh, they didn't want their bag and took my card information, my, sent me the pay link I paid and that was that. Well, then Miami calls and they're like, okay, well, you know, this bag was pre-ordered. We do have one. You can't have that. I'm like, that's fine. I understand. However, we had a client pre-order their bag and she just decided, magically, it's always they just decide that she didn't want to order the bag. She doesn't want to pay for it. Okay, fantastic. I will gladly take her place on this wait list. She goes, okay, great. Now, I can't promise you'll get the bag very soon. It could be late August. It could be September. I'm like, that's absolutely fine. I've got my credit card in hand. Like, let's do this. I was going to use the Chanel fund. Don't hate me. Obviously, it didn't work out. So then she's like, okay, great. Are you a client of Bulgari's? I can send you the pay link. I said, well, I'm not yet, but I'm about to be like super excited. Like, oh my gosh, this is happening. I have my credit card in hand. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go. And she's like, oh, you're not, you're not a current customer. You're not a client. And I said, no. Oh, you have to be a client for me to send you the pay link. Then she's like, oh, well, when will you be in Miami? We're, we're here today until five. Like, you can just pop in and pay for it. I'm like, I'm in Chicago. Oh, well, when's the next time you'll be in Miami? I'm like, I have no intention of visiting Miami anytime in the near foreseeable future. So I'm like, well, like I said, I'm in Chicago. I probably won't be in Miami anytime soon. I got your number from client services. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. You have to be a current client to, to get the pay link. I'm like, really? Like that, I've never run into that before. Like I have literally never heard the word no. And I was blown away. So then she's like, I'm like, oh, well, I mean, I guess I'm out then. I guess I can't pay for it. She's like, whoa, 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 wait. Do you have any friends or family that are current clients of Bulgari? They can, they can pay for it and you can Venmo them back. I'm like, what? Like, I get it. Like, I get it. You're trying to make a sale. You're trying to work with the system. I get it. But you're willing to circumvent that way, but you won't just send me the stupid pay link. I, I was a little bit low-key taken aback. I thought it was a little bit rude to, to suggest that. So I was like, listen, I don't feel comfortable asking, you know, anyone to, to do that for me to buy a handbag. That kind of makes me look a little psycho, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. I was just like, oh, no, I'm not going to do that. And... I'm not gonna be in Miami, so I guess she can count me out. So then she gives me the phone number of the supervisor there, and she goes, well, if you ever need any help, you know, ordering a handbag, let her know. I'm like, will she be able to order this handbag for me? And she goes, no. I'm like, well, then I don't really see how that's gonna help me right now, do you? We manifested. I got that close. I was almost to the finish line, you guys. And it got taken away from me. Aww. Hmm. Kind of a downer. I, I'm basically going to kind of look out of it like the Apre Tennis line. Like, it's gonna be on the website soon, right? Right? Gosh, I hope. I, I do like the bag, but the, the whole interaction and the wild goose chase kind of put a bad taste in my mouth. So I'm low key not very into it anymore. I mean, like if they want to send me one, great, send me a pay link. And I'm also kind of like pivoting towards, you know, maybe focusing on my Chanel slash Hermes journey. Again, I don't know which way I'm going to go. I could do the Chanel or I could just save a tiny bit more, do a bigger vlog sale and buy a Birkin. Who knows? Could be bigger problems to have, I suppose. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. It was rambly. Zane's gonna hate it. That's okay. I am going to take this earring off, go hit the gym, and call it a night. Thank you so much for joining me today. We switched bags. We talked about Bulgari, Shameless, and Chapstick. I don't know how the algorithm's gonna think about this video. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you all have a great week. Have fun, stay safe, and I'll see you guys on Sunday. Bye-bye.